There it is. The eagle has landed. Well, no, actually not eagle. It's a bass cat, Puma STS. But it is here, my 2023 tour boat. I got it back last night. Got it back into the shop here. And there she is, boys and girls. Went with the red power poles. Of course, the TH Marine Atlas jack plate. That's a big deal. Um, gets your performance that you need. And the Mercury... Pro XS 250. I went with the red eight foot blade power poles this year. And that's the color scheme right there. She's a little dirty. Had to bring her back through some through some uh, rain, but it's the, the black. You can see the, the red flake in there. Beautiful. Then the red, the silver interior, gray carpet. I went with a little lighter color seats this year. Um, we're going to be fishing a lot of sunny tournaments, I'm hoping. Still got the carpet kind of laid in there, but we went with the, the reflex flooring on the carpet. I like that. Last year, it doesn't stay wet. Uh, but just for, I'm going to be working a bunch in the boat. I got that right there. Um, we're just going to, I'm going to get up in the boat, but we got the, the Lawrence Ghost on the front. We may have May... May have an update to that at some point during the year, so stay tuned for that. But I'm going to show you guys everything as as I get it, and then all the stuff that I'm going to have to do to it to make it right. But um, up here on the front, we're going to have all three graphs, and there's nothing here currently. Uh, we got a couple wires run. I don't see don't see anything for Lawrence, so we may have to to run. Um, Oh, no, there's some Lorentz wires. So we'll have to figure out what all uh, Basscat did and then add on to that later. And we're going to go back here to the console, and I'll show you. This is how it comes. Uh, no, um, no windshield on there yet. But we got the wires. We got the, the, two, the two balls out mounts on either side, one for the Lorentz, one for the Humminbird. They put the wires on the wrong side for what I wanted. It may have been like that on the order sheet. I'm not positive, but I'm going to just have to switch those wires. That'll be easy. Um, then I've got to mount the the two units there and get them all dialed in uh, for, for that. <clears throat> and then we'll come here to the back. Let me show you the components, and then we'll get in the boat. Let me show you the components here that we've got to put in the boat. All of these guys here. This is where I'm keeping everything ready. Got my two Lowrance HDS lives there. Yep, uh, we all know that if you don't, uh, something new's coming from Lowrance, but it's not gonna be ready in time. It, it'll be a little bit later in the season. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and rig it with these bad boys. Uh, got two Helix 12s down there. Uh, those are gonna, one on front, one on uh, console, one on the front, one on console there. Got the Garmin Echo Map Ultra 106 SV. LVS 34 transducer in the box. Those will be going up on the front. Active Target 2 is coming out soon, but it's not out now. It's not out now. Got my two batteries that I will be using. My Lithium Pros 36 volt, Lithium Pros 12 volt, 215 amps, 65 amps per bank. That's all the power I need. I couple that with the power pull charge i've got the mega 360 for the front got the battery th marine battery trays got the russell marine motor toter it's a bad boy right here uh, i like that that's like it's the best one out there on the market also from russell marine products they make some cool stuff got the light that goes on top of my power pole put that on top of my power pole and um, have navigation lights then I have some various TH Marine products, the G-Juice, uh, some, some Titan uh, tackle lure hangers. We got the, the steer stops, uh, other various equipment and throw cushion. Got the little security deals. Got to have your um, other things there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> A lot of stuff. I'm going to get in the boat and kind of show you what it, what it looks like when I get it. That's kind of the point of this video. 
Uh, so I'm going to turn this around real quick and show you. Lord, what in the world? Here we are. I might have to adjust that latch. But that's what it comes with. I'm going to have to take that out. I'm taking that battery and that, that aluminum battery tray out. Put the TH Marine battery tray in there uh, for my, my 12 volt. And I um, have to put the power pole charge in there. We're going to go ahead and I'll just show you. That's the compartment behind the driver's seat. Clean. Under the driver's seat, clean. There's a big cooler. Ooh, that thing is huge, man. I'm telling you, fit you a dozen drinks in there easy. And here's the front deck layout. Got the, the big step cooler there. I use that for storage mostly. And big bin, that's where all my plastics go there. And we got the rod locker, big rod locker here. Got a few more components in there. There's the windshield, um, a transducer, some other various equipment, spare trolling motor prop. But that's where I'll put the black box for the Garmin. Put that in there. Once we get it rigged, I'll show you those videos later. We got these. These are kind of cool. Uh, but I will probably take those out so I can kind of configure that the way I want to. This is the net scabbard. You put your net down in there. And I'll go up here and show you the front. This is the front. And, you know, a lot of people like, and Bass Cat owners, like to be way up on the front. I like to be way up on the front too, but it's a balance of being able to put what you want to. So I'm, I'm going to take this little, this little insert out. I'm going to move this trolling motor pedal back. Then I'm gonna have my configuration to put the three, uh, the three graphs up there. And I don't, I'm gonna change it up from the way I did it last year. I have my hummingbird up here, Lawrence, and and then uh, actually Lawrence and then Garmin. I think I'm gonna switch and put Lawrence over here, Garmin here, and then keep my hummingbird up there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what what happens. But as you can see, we got a lot of work to do here on this. It's kind of like the first look. Just giving you guys a little sample of what we're doing. Oh, one thing I, I forgot to mention down here. <clears throat> As you can see on either side, way up under there, and then down over here, you got the you got the two JL audio speakers. So we're gonna put that uh, to the test. We're gonna actually hook up. I didn't hook them up last year. Uh, I got the speakers and then never I never ended up getting a, a Sonic Hub from the ranch, which is what I wanted. But I think I'm just going to get like a little Bluetooth amplifier uh, and then use those for the uh, for hooking up to my phone whenever I want a little tunes action. But that's the kind of the first look here on the, the Bass Cat Puma STS, the 2023 for the ba 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series season. Just got her back from Arkansas, picked her up. I mean, it still has that new smell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get me a little pull right here. Got that, I love that new fiberglass smell. It's just, it's amazing. It's it's, uh, it's intoxicating, really. Um, and if I'm gloating a little bit, I apologize. Apologize, it is very nice. Uh, a lot of people can relate because a lot of people watching this video have gotten new boats and it doesn't matter whether it's a bass cat or any other boat, you smell that new fiberglass smell and it is intoxicating. And I hope everybody gets a chance to smell that. I hope everybody is able to uh, get the boat of their dreams because that's, uh, that's what I've got here. This is. It's just this is an awesome boat. Uh, I consider myself extremely lucky to be able to run something like this every year. And even if I wasn't fishing on the pro level, um, I've told this a million times to people. I would I would absolutely have a Bass Cat. I may have the Puma STS. I might have a Pantera two. I might have a Pantera Classic. Might have an Era. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I don't know which which boat I would run if I was just fishing local stuff. Depends on what I would what I was fishing, I guess. Uh, but they're all all great, amazing models. Really, really enjoy all of those boats. And um, just stay tuned for more videos on the full setup uh, today. Uh, basically, what I'm going to try to do is get everything laid out 
Uh, I've got all my components back there, all the major stuff uh, ready to rock. Have had some of that stuff for months, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start the install. Got like I mentioned before, I'm gonna take that other battery out, uh, get that get the battery tray swapped out. Uh, I got to get my configuration figured out on the front for my graphs, what mounts I need. I've got a mount that I may be using, uh, but that's not definitive yet. I need to figure that out and get all that mounted. I may have to order extra parts, not sure. And then I'm gonna get that stereo portion. So got a lot of work cut out for me. I'm gonna get to it here. Anybody has any questions or they wanna see anything, anything specific, wanna see another video. I've got a lot of videos on how to rig things, uh, you know, power pole charge. I've got videos on that. <clears throat> I've got videos on my, my battery configuration, exactly how I, I'm gonna have it this year with the uh, 136 volt, 112 volt, and the power pole charge. I've got a video on that if you wanna look that up uh, on YouTube. But um, anybody has any other other questions on anything? I've got a video on how to rig up that Russell Marine Products power pole light. Got a video on that as well. They also have a great video. Russell Marine Products has a lot of great videos on how to rig things up in your boat. You check them out as well. But uh, yeah, anybody has any questions or wanna see anything specific, please drop it down there now because I'm gonna be working on that here over the next uh, couple weeks and hopefully we can show you everything to get this bad boy ready for the season. All right, thanks for watching.